latest on embattled Congressman George Santos, and he is now exclusively responding to eyewitness news for the first time to address at least one of the growing list of accusations against him. He sent our Long Island reporter Shante Lance a photograph that he suggests disproves claims he scammed a disabled vet looking to raise money for his dying dog. Shante live outside Santos's district office in Queens with more. Shante. Well, David, it's not clear if Congressman George Santos is back in New York. He hasn't been seen at his district office in Queens here, but what has been seen is his response to me and also him defending himself on social media. You guys need to give us space to watch, please. Thank you. For the first time, we hear directly from Congressman George Santos, the Republican freshman rep from Long Island and Queens, exclusively sending me two photos, screenshots, in response to my tweet. My tweet was in response to his denying a claim that he scammed a once homeless veteran from New Jersey out of $3,000 to save the vet's dying service dog. I started getting angry with him. We argued back and forth a little bit, uh, text messages. He even told me that they were going to try to make her as comfortable as possible in her last hours. He never did that. Santos tweeting, the reports that I would let a dog die is shocking and insane. My work in animal advocacy was the labor of love and hard work. Over the past 24 hours, I have received pictures of dogs I helped rescue throughout the years, along with supportive messages. I responded, asking him to share the pictures and messages. He gave me two text message screenshots with pictures seemingly of the same dog, one dated from last May with a photo of a brown dog and a text saying, how did you forget about me after saving me? And another photo text without a date, also showing a similar brown dog. One message seemingly sent to Santos under the picture saying, your buddy says hi. Santos' possible response saying, he looks so good. The sender apparently texting, hang in there. We need you in there. It's not clear who texted Santos. The Republican is also under fire this week over the whereabouts of his mother on 9-11. My mom was a 9-11 survivor. Mm. She was in the South Tower. ABC News obtained immigration records showing his mother wasn't in the U.S. when the towers fell. And the latest claim, a picture seemingly showing the openly gay congressman performing in drag in Brazil in 2008. Santos also tweeting, calling the claim, quote, categorically false. And this is uh, his Congressman Santos's office here. It's still open to constituents. Again, he hasn't been seen, but there's a barrier up there now blocking whoever comes inside.